All right, possible misfire on a Craftsman Go 6.75 lawnmower. All right, let's find out why, guys. So guys and girls, basically what I'm gonna do is we need to take this top cover off here. And how to do that is go ahead and take this hex head bolt here, this hex head screw. It's gonna cost for you're gonna it's gonna call for an eight millimeter nut driver. And you have it seems like you have two filler head screws right there. See? All right, guys, this is more complicated than I thought, of course, you know. So anyway, I took this plastic cover off of it, and this is, this is basically what you got. So what I, what, what I did was I, I took this bolt off here, and then I started taking these two bolts out here. But obviously, it's more than meets the eye. So uh, for me to get to that spark plug wire, I would have to take disassemble all this the whole, the whole shell that means i would have to it looks like i would have to siphon out the gas and then oil and stuff like that so I, I would have to just take everything apart but for right now we're just gonna go ahead and just change this spark plug out all right so for, first and foremost um, when you're doing a spark plug change uh, of course with any uh, motor you want to disconnect this um, the spark plug wire um, from the spark plug also, um, I'll, leave, I'll leave a link to the description below, but um, I got a um, spark plug wrench, and this is uh, for all three quarters and three um, 13 sixteenths hex spark plugs. So um, it, it says right here on the, the tool, it's, it's a 13 16 to um, go. So you see how it's nice, nice, nice. nice, nice. all right, we're gonna use this. Ooh, dang, look at that. That spark plug does look bad. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. You see that, guys? It is burned out. That's crappy. I just went ahead and just uh, sprayed a little um, brake clean on the on the um, on the rack here, just to um, wipe the threads. Um, just try to get it in as much as I can. Probably a wire brush would have uh, could also do this with a wire brush, but I mean. I just, I, I mean, people have like used different stuff or different things. I mean, you know, I, I just use that just to clean, clean, just clean the threads. I'm not, I didn't pour it directly into the hole there, but you know, I just did that, it, put it on a rag to just try to clean the threads. Okay, so first and foremost, make sure you get, you have the right um, spark plug. This is the old one, RJ 19 HX HX. And this is this this is the same one, still made from Champion. See, the same spark plug. So, um, according to um, the uh, um, Amazon where I where I bought this from, um, in the descriptions, um, they said that that these are already uh, preset. The um, um, the spark plugs are are already preset. But I just, I'm just gonna check it just in case. This is a spark, uh, what I call a spark plug dial. Some, some other people may call it different, different. So I'll just, you know, just making sure that it's set to the factory level. So the spark plugs for these are, um, that is, it needs to be set at, um, is 0 .030. And I'll leave a um, link to the, um, so also the site, which is from um, Briggs and Stratton, um, they they tell you what's what what the spark plug needs to be on. So you see now that's 
you know, that sun. I have to squeeze it up to make, make sure it slides a little bit there. And that right there is where it needs to be set, zero, uh, 0 0.030. All right, okay. So now that is set. I just like to double check myself and you know, that, that one I had to, had to fit through a little bit, um, set it off a little bit. So um, it wasn't set. <laughs> It wasn't factory set, it wasn't preset. So what, I, what I'm doing now, I'm putting anises on the threads here. This is what I, this is what I do to my car spark plugs. Just, you know, a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna put that notch on David and anises. It's just to keep that thread from rusting out or any corrosion since it's metal. This is basically metal and metal. So just put it there just in there. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna take this. I'm make, make sure I'm not getting in, into that. So, yeah, before I ordered the spark spark plug, I made I made sure I had to make sure that it was the right the right one that came off of this one. They may have an alternate, but I don't like set only for alternates. Basically, I like to set them. I just I'm gonna set it for the for the same exact thing. Same about that part that's on there. All right, so all you gotta do is thread it in there. Get your wrench. While we're waiting on the oil to come, I ordered it off of Amazon. Um, it's a Briggs and Stratton um, SAE30, or they said you can use a 5W30. I just, I'm, I just, I have 5W30, but I'm not gonna put it in. I'll just use the what I ordered. Um, anyway, it's not that expensive. It's might be like three, three to four dollars, so it's really cheap. So um, upon that. I like to, me, I like to, to, to plan. So I just went ahead and bought a, um, um, air filter for the lawnmower. And I also got carburetor, um, cleaner just in case, because what I've, when I found out when I did my research, uh, most of these, these lawnmowers, these, um, Braden Stratton lawnmowers or Craftsmith, um, uh, they say most of the time the carburetor is, um, Filled, filled up with um, uh, that the carburetor goes out and you know it's either filled with gunk um, dirt and all that stuff or the float from the carburetor is gone but um, we're not gonna mess with the carburetor just yet uh, because I because as you guys saw the spark plug the way it looked um, I didn't see no cracks in it but it just looked like it it looked like it was it was gone it, it was it eventually or it had gone so um, anyway, so, um, when we change that air filter, which is that compartment right there, it's going to take, um, an 8 mm nut driver. Focus, focus. Here you go. So it's going to, so we're going to undo the screw here. And then we'll see the filter. Let me remind you, I haven't done nothing to this um, lawnmower, and you can tell. So look at all that, the filter. I, this is, like I said, my first time working on a lawnmower and my first time doing even maintenance on a lawnmower. So I'm like, oh, what is this? So anyway, look at it, it's all dirty. It's still yeah, dirty. so this is my new air filter here. It looks similar to the, one, the, the original one, so give me a second. Okay. So yeah, it looks it looks very similar. I'm just I just try to you know match everything up and making making sure it works. Uh, it matches up correctly. Um, as you can see, it does. So 
Um, it's a, it looks like, well, we'll, we'll see if it fits first. Um, but um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the, the carbon cleaner in, in the carbon, um, in the carburetor first. And then we'll, we'll go with the, um, putting the filter back, back in. But yeah, I, I got these um, air filters. They, they're like, I believe like maybe three, three to five dollars for a, a pack of five. So that, that ain't bad. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, since I have everything, I'm still waiting for the oil to come in. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the carburetor. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, so I'm gonna spray the carburetor on that. And this right here is being. So, I kind of open it and close it, but you get in there, it's starting to. You know, getting all that rust and all that stuff out in there. So yeah. All right. So I sorry I didn't show you the can as well the, for the car car mirror. Right? I'm using this. This was before bucks. It wasn't bad. Uh, so for the carburetor and throttle body cleaner. So that that's not bad for for that price. I bought it at um, Amazon. Um, so yeah, I just sprayed sprayed that. Um, the carbur carburetor so you know I sprayed that I also sprayed that that hole in there with carburetor fluid that hole right there and um, I guess if you can sorry this is showing my face a little bit scared you guys um, you get underneath here um, it possibly can there's like a I believe a hole right here I'm sorry there's a hole right here or something Something, but I don't. I don't feel no hole there. But um, you know, right now we're just gonna treat it as a um, spark plug issue, and we'll we'll take it from there.